Hello, my friends. My name is Nathan Zimmerman, and I'd like to show you one of my latest and greatest projects, which is this walking desk. I'm plagued by a little issue that uh, many other engineers find, which is that they do not get enough exercise on a daily basis. So, using this walking desk, I can actually get a couple miles under my belt per day while doing work on the computer. So that's the idea behind that and this video will just be a little uh, walkthrough as to how I went about building my walking desk. Now I'm an electrical engineer and I am severely mechanically challenged so the way I went about making this walking desk was slightly different than what people normally do. Um, Normally, people tend to build a desk on top of the existing um, mechanical display. Um, and the issue I find with that is that I already have a desk and I want to reuse it and I don't really want to have to try to build something on top of the existing platform. So what I did is I bought this uh, Gold's Gym Trainer 420 treadmill and the nice thing about this treadmill is that it can be completely mechanically supported without the uh, vertical bars as well as the display. So to make it work what I did is I just I just didn't assemble it at all and I hooked up the display harness which is right here to the treadmill and I also looked at the signals with my oscilloscope. And thankfully, the treadmill was very well designed, so all of the signals were quite intuitive as to what they did. Um, so it was pretty simple hacking. I don't really want to go into a great um, amount of detail because odds are your treadmill will be different. But there was a particular pin that was a PWM signal whose pulse width was proportional to speed. So all I had to do was replicate that. And to do that, I reused um, an existing piece of hardware of mine, which is a little MSP430 wireless control board uh, with an overpowered LED, as you can see. And uh, this control board I used in college to control my uh, coffee maker, and I built another one to control my walking desk. Normally that uh, control board is hidden underneath the desk, but I brought it out for viewing purposes. Then the display board that I have is right here. It equally has <laughs> an overpowered L LED. Uh, let me see if I can get it to stay upright. There we go. Um, and to the right there you can see forgive the uh, dark picture, to the right is the 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless link. It's an R NRF module. They cost about a buck, so they're a very nice way to create uh, cheap wireless links. So there's the display, the Uber desk. I touched it to wake it up, and then as you can see it has some basic uh, features there such as speed, time, feet, and miles. And it's a touch screen, so I can uh, click the, the buttons on the screen uh, to change the speed. Then I hit start, of course, to start it. And with any luck, the treadmill will actually move. So it's actually working. Not sure if you can see it, but it's actually moving. And it's moving at the speed that was designated on the screen. And then you'll see that this green LED now or the RGB LED is now green, indicating that a wireless link has been established from the display board to the control board. And so walking desks in general, they're pretty nice, although to do anything on them uh, takes a little bit of practice. As you can see, my poor camera skills have gotten even worse as I started walking on the desk. So I'm gonna attempt to stop it. All right, it stopped. And as you can see, the uh, LED is now red to show that I'm no longer uh, communicating with it. And that was just done as a means of, um, I don't know, make it a little bit safer. 
So, a little overview of the internals of the display board. If I flip it over here, you can see that I have a kind of a noob sauce implementation of 802.11 right there. Let's see if I can get a better picture. Uh, yep, that's the uh, Y-Spy module by WiseNet. Down here I have a switch mode power supply. Over here I have my MSP430 microcontroller. I have a instrumentation amplifier up here for some other applications, such as a reflow oven, or a laser power meter, or a weight scale, etc. Uh, so this was used for a lot of projects. I got my touch controller and I got an FTDI USB ASIC. So this is a very feature board that I can use for a whole slew of uh, various projects. So that's what that is. And with that, as well as my control board, I have for myself one fancy little walking desk. So yeah, thanks for watching. One update on Another project of mine is the reflow oven controller. I'm sure some of you guys are asking, uh, <laughs> why are you not working on that? Well, to be honest, I needed a little break. I got really busy at work, and what happened was is that my display went obsolete, so I can no longer obtain them. If you happen to know how to get them, <laughs> that'd be awesome, but I'm pretty sure they've gone off the market. And then I also ran out of uh, code space on my microcontroller. So I have a whole bunch of features that I want to implement in regards to convection ovens as opposed to uh, my current IR oven setup. And there's a whole lot of things I need to add. And with being out of code space on the microcontroller and the LCD display being obsolete, I really just need to redesign the entire system which as you can imagine that takes a little bit of time and so I needed a little break but I'm working on a whole new yet another reflow oven controller kit um, will probably be a couple months months before that is out so provided I don't get too busy again but yeah thanks for watching as always and uh, would highly recommend uh, building a walking desk as a means of getting a little bit of extra exercise if you're <laughs> horrendously nerdy such as myself and yeah <laughs>